guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pair the Xfinity voice remote to your TV so that the volume and power buttons work. But this may not work on all TVs. It just depends if your TV is compatible with this remote, so please keep that in mind. And before we begin, I wanted to let you know that I do have another video where I go through the setup process on the Xfinity X1 TV box, and I'll link that video at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check that video out. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is to press the Xfinity button on the voice remote, and then this menu shows up here. And then I'm going to use the right arrow to move over to the settings icon, and then press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select the settings icon. And then on this screen, I'm going to use the down arrow to move down to where it says remote settings, and then press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And then on this screen here, I'm going to press the down arrow button to move down to where it says voice remote pairing and then press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And then on this screen, it says, do you want to use your remote to control your TV power and volume? And yes is already highlighted. So I'm going to press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And then on this screen, it says, is this TV made by Sharp? And yes is already highlighted. So I'm going to press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And on this screen, it says ready to pair. After this, you'll be able to control your Sharp TV power and volume using your remote and OK is already highlighted. So I'm going to press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. Okay, so on this screen it says confirm pairing was successful. Try using your remote to adjust the volume on your TV. So we can see that on our TV the volume is working. And if the volume's working on your TV, then you can select it works by pressing the circle button in the middle of the arrows while it works is highlighted. If this didn't work for you, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so if that didn't work, we're going to press the right arrow button to move over to it doesn't work and then press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And then on this screen, it says your remote is paired for voice control. Would you like to control your Sharp TV using your remote? And yes is already highlighted, so we're going to press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And on this screen, it says follow these steps to control your Sharp TV. And there are three different steps. And the third step says type the five digit code shown above. And that code is going to be different for different TVs. Okay, so I'm going to follow these three steps. I'm going to press the Xfinity and mute buttons at the same time and wait for the light to change from red to green. And then I'm going to type in the five digit code. And make sure that you type the five digit code in while the light is still green on the remote. And then all set is already highlighted so we can press the circle button in the middle of the arrows to select that. And on this screen you can test out the volume buttons on your remote again and if they're working you select it works and if they're not working you select it doesn't work. And if you select it, it doesn't work. It will bring you to this screen here with additional codes that you can try. And after you try each code, you can either select it works or it doesn't work. And then on this screen, it says, would you also like to control your audio receiver using your new remote? And you can select yes or skip. I'm going to select skip. And then you'll end up back on this screen here where you can press the exit button on the voice remote to exit out of the settings menu. All right, guys, so that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have a video going through the setup process of a Xfinity X1 TV box and I'll link that video at the end of this one. I'll also link my Xfinity Flex playlist at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.